Welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbo. Starting off with a little bit of teeth content for you today, guys. And I'm starting off with what I'm giving my staff as their Christmas gift, all right? So this has always been something that I've kind of dreamed of doing, and I'm sure every woman has. So all they know is that we're going on a field trip. And so I texted them the address to a Pizza Hut. However, next door to the Pizza Hut is a Hobby Lobby, and they are gonna get 10 minutes and one shopping cart to fill with whatever they want. So um, they have no idea. I'm pretty excited about this. We're all headed there now. Everyone had to drive their own cars. They have no clue. So come tag along as we go on this really cool adventure together. Let's go. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh. What? Oh my gosh. Three, it's two, so, two, two, one. Go. Caroline, we're three minutes in. Where is everybody? We don't know. They're hiding. All right, Kim, we're about five minutes in. What's your favorite item in your cart you got right now? I think this. Ooh. For our guests, Natalie has the most stuff in her cart. Oh, okay, here we go. We got five shopping carts loaded up. One, two. Ashley's decorating her new house. Kim, going all out here at the big signs. Terry's got a lot of baskets going on. And some dog toys. And Sam's got a lot of Christmas stuff. Yeah. Is that it? What's the grand total? Play it on me. 2549.76. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Merry Christmas, girls. Hope you guys like this content. Let's get back to the car stuff. jumping right back into the action people putting the converter back on the trans trans back in the car on the new motor it's going to be a great episode i love this stuff we're finally getting the car back together it's been pretty heavy on my mind over the past couple weeks i'll tell you what life's been busy and some things take priority over race cars not many but we're back to it and i couldn't be happier all right hopefully i pumped some uh trans fluid in this converter sam i hope oh, i think it's going to do well Oh, yeah. You're leaking? Nope, not a yeah. drop. All right, so there's one. That's it, right? Three. I think that'll do her, don't you think? I think it's in place all the way. It looks like I think it is. It went into home plate. Right yeah, there. it's just past the edge of this bell housing here. Now, as you know, Garrett got a new Turbo 400 for his car. Super pumped for him. But he's also got something I really want off that trans, and that's a gear vendor. Because I have been running like 3,500 RPM, cruising 50, 55 miles an hour on the street. As you know, I love doing race weeks. So if I can pawn that uh, gear vendor off Garrett, it's gonna make a big change in my car for cruising on the street. It'll be a lot more comfortable, help me keep my temps down, burn less fuel, just make the overall ride that much smoother. So I'm gonna test the car, we're gonna run in the Christmas tree race without the vendor, and then that gives us kind of a month and a half for a sick week to hopefully throw it in there. Live action to Sam. Using the impact yeah. in the crossover back in place. Got the impact on it. Now I gotta get me a, a box in for this right here. Not gonna lie, we kind of struggled getting it back in. The bolts didn't line up really well for the cross member, so we had to try and undo one of these motor mounts, but these bolts are too tight, so we ended up using a breaker bar to push it over, blah, blah, blah. We got it in place. So we got this back in, gotta hook up our linkages, gotta run new lines for the trans cooler. Transmission is back in the car. And Sam and I have been working on getting these trans cooler lines replaced with AN lines and fittings. Before we had this crappy hose, it was starting to crack and break in multiple spots and just wanted to one up the car a little bit, get her prepared for these long roads we're gonna be on. I also got the trans temp sensor put in and I need to wire that. 
Also need to wire the trans brake as you can see, but we're also going to do a once through while we're underneath the car and try and tighten any bolts and nuts that probably are still tight, but just want to make sure everything is really snug because there's a lot of vibrations in these cars and we'd hate to see something come loose. Another thing I completed this morning is I got a new starter hung and got all the wiring done for that. Also got the alternator wired up. I still need to measure a belt for this alternator and make sure that it's squared up so that we're not throwing any belts, but car's getting closer guys. This is gonna be my first time ever installing a throttle cable. So I got the Motion Raceworks one. It seems to be quite simple in its adjustability and ease of putting on. So, so come along with me on this journey as I try to put on a throttle cable for the first time. I already know I'm gonna to have to cut its overall length, but basically you start from the throttle body and move your way backwards because it's not adjustable on here. It's only adjustable in the back. So I've got the Motion Raceworks Icon throttle body. I got the uh, throttle cable bracket on the throttle body itself. So we're gonna basically run it like this, straight back through the firewall, and then this is gonna hook up back to the pedal. So let's do this. Let's do it. We're gonna put this end piece on, push it all the way forward for the pedal like that. I think. I think that way. Yeah. That's it. Seems quite easy. Now my thought is we could take it a step further. There's this little crappy plastic piece. I see just, it there. You think we replace that because you can just do it on the end like how I had it or use this type of thread, you know, like lock it on there with a nut. So that's what's meant. It's engineered to go up on that pedal piece. That right I, think, I think it's engineered to go either way, you know? Okay, and now I got a good view over here. What do you think? Just leave it like that for now, and we can Let's always. Shut it for you now, know, and then if it starts to pose a problem or jumps then, out, then we, we have it as a backup yep. on there. Look at that. How about that? We that have, literally took like five minutes. We have fuel flow here. That is great. Fuel flow and a lot of water flow pedal, through here as well. Pedal right here. There's the gold flag. Oh, right. you know what I want to do too is switch out this metal panel that's mm -hmm. in the dash and make a carbon fiber one. Okay, good. So really all we need to do with this now is cut this excess off. Just want to make sure I'm not opening the throttle just a hair. Do you want to reach in and hit the pedal? Let me look and see what we got here for yeah. what W O T. W O T. Wide open throttle. Ready? Hit it. We'll buy that right there. Yeah. Do we want to move it up to the top notch on that so it's wrapping all the way around? Wouldn't be a bad idea. Since we're here, Wouldn't that that, all, that way it gives Let's us see. access to work with in the future if we yep, ever need it. Yep. Put it right onto here. Yep. Okay. Let me undo these out a little bit. Ready? Okay, now let's test for wide open throttle. Okay, wide open. I'll take that. Cool. We're filming. We're filming. You know what time it is? It's turbo time, or as Sam would say, what'd you call it's it? It's the wind machine. Time for the wind, the wind machine. wind machine is getting ready to be up on the car. All right, so decided not to put the bellow in. Sam and I have been cranking on the car, and we're like, you know what? Let's just try and use the existing turbo kit. So here we are. Trying to get that gasket. Mm hmm wind up on the turbo kit. I do see we are quite close to- We're close, just on the blanket there. I don't know. There we go. How are we looking? I think we're okay. Oh yeah, we got nothing. Just, like I said, just, just a blanket. Just against the blanket there. Ah, satisfying. It's gonna be cutting it awfully close to that belt, isn't it? Close to the belt. That's too close to the belt. 
Can't run in between it. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> we've defied engineering here. Yeah, we'll just make a smaller uh, return line for the for this, or I'm sorry, a longer one longer to give us a little more slack. Mm -hmm. Run more slack down there, so we don't get tangled up in that. But I'm just, I'm really glad that with this water pump, now all I need to figure out is once we get the exhaust on here, it travels through here, and somehow we got to get this hooked to this with a 20. So. We're probably going to cut this off, weld the bung on, and then I might have to do like a 45 degree down and then bring it up, something like that, you know? Mm-hmm, that works. It puts you between your hot sections here. Yeah, yeah what I think I'm going to do is wrap it with this, uh, this fire shield as well so that we're just completely protected because mm -hmm. I think the AM lines are good for up to 300 degrees and Exhaust is definitely warmer than 300 degrees. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cool. Looking good. Oop, looks like we need to tighten down that wastegate. The other one seems quite solid. So let's do this wastegate while we're standing here. Mm -hmm. After we get these nuts and bolts for the turbo uh -huh. put on. Now, as far as the turbo kit goes, we might have to re-engineer that because we have a different intake compared to the Holiday Higher Am. Now we've got the Texas Speed intake and the Icon throttle body, so it's gonna be a little bit of a change going on there, but shouldn't be anything that the guys can't handle, because I'm not a welder. I'm gonna leave it to the professionals. <laughs> I All would right. say they could do it. I would line up the old intake just to see the difference. Okay, so it looks like it's about an inch too high, and the whole, the whole way the turbo comes up, it goes higher. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna rotate the cold side of the turbo down more towards the intake, so it's more of a direct feed mm -hmm. and see how that looks but either way we know we're going to be remaking one of these mm -hmm. almost straight on we're about probably if you look at it from this angle oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Very close. Very we're close but it's offset to the passenger side just hair which took that is nice I'm, I'm really excited. I don't know why I'm so excited about these AN lines for the cooling system, but I don't know. Anytime you see a car that has AN coolant lines, it's, you know they spend some time. It secures that the coolant or whatever you've got in the line stays in the lines. Right. It'll find its next weakest point. Oh, another thing I need to order too is the Motion Raceworks adapter for this. So we need to figure out the intakes. Everyone loves a straight exhaust and I got it back on. As you get, I put this brand new bumper cover on right before race week 2.0 and clearly it's melted. I've tried other flanges, but basically my problem is, is it doesn't stick out far enough past the bumper cover, which is fine. I kind of like this look anyways. That's but a good getting, rugged used look about it. Terry. That's right. You know, she's seen some miles, she's seen some road, you know, you got to appreciate it. So we're getting the exhaust back on, then we can get a better look at how we're going to do the coolant lines. Which I'm quite excited about, as I've it's said. Gonna good. Very it good. is going to be good. All right, let's get. There's a little bracket here. Well, it's Saturday. Sam and I. We've been working on the car for yesterday afternoon and pretty much all day today. We've made a lot of progress. We got the turbo kit back on, which I wasn't expecting to do today, but we got it done. Yeah, and, and a bunch of lines on and routed too. So. Yeah, a lot of the lines. We still have a couple things to button up, like the oil feed. We got to have tire. You build the the cold side of the turbo kit. But the car's looking really good, and I just have some buttoning up to do in the wiring. And then I think we're going to be pretty ready to start it over the next couple of days, ready right? Ready to hit the start button. Ready to hit the start, start button and get the uh, the wind maker spinning, right? No, the wind, the, the, the wind machine right here. The wind machine. Ready to go into action. It's all bolted down and stationary position. Ready to go. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you on the next episode. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only $39. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's Basically the same thing as a Sonicare, except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.